Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So in this episode, I am going to be helping Kiri get a human body, or as close to human as she can get. I heard about your signal interceptor. Now that you've found the Institute, I hope you do the right thing. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Can you do it or not? I won't even consider something like this unless there's a good reason. I was programmed to further our studies of disease, pathogens, and viruses. I cannot do this with the fundamental limitations of my robotic systems. If I become human, with the wealth of information in my databanks, I hope to do much good for the Commonwealth. A pre-war robot with your knowledge and skills, plus human cognition. Yes, you could potentially save many lives. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand. Well, it's already somewhere between the two. Okay, my only synth. Why would it only work on a synth? To be clear, it may not work. But some synths have cybernetic enhancements that interface directly with their brains. The Institute must have found an interpreter for raw data. That's my hope, at least. You're not suggesting... I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to explain. You know about the mind wipes I perform on synths, but... But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. So you're willing to perform the operation? My patient knew the risks and opted for memory replacement. She wanted a new life. I failed her. But this... this procedure may be as close as I can get to fulfilling her wishes. But I cannot make this decision. Her caretaker can. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. Caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. Oh, I'm gonna. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna stay here and wait. Let's go. So you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? You know she's a sin. We're supposed to protect them. Glory, she wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Quick save. Uh, 
gift of life. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. Yeah, but will she want to become a walking, breathing tin can? We fought our whole lives to be more than that. G5's off life support right now. Her body is deteriorating. It's best if you decide soon. Damn it. Fine. Do it. Do it now before I change my mind. Curie, let's begin. I should see this through. Terminate all non essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped. So this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I. I. My chest. What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I. I feel. I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. Is that really you, Curie? Yes. You sound so different with these ears. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends. But, there, my chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. All right. It is, of course, for science. Listen. G519 went through a lot. She was good. Solid. I don't know if I did right by G5. This whole thing feels shitty. Curie better be worth it. With Curie's scientific skills, there's a real chance she'll help a lot of people down the line. Yeah. Here's hoping. We gotta work together. So I'm just gonna say this once. I think I made a mistake. G5 was a friend from the old days. Understand? And I feel like I desecrated her memory. See you back at HQ. Uh, I've been fine all day. Trust me, I'm like a, like a runny nose now when I'm trying to record this. Okay, come here, Kiri, so you can. Hey. You need something. Have all this apparel. Uh, yeah, you can have that. Have that. That. I'm missing, I'm missing something. I do have a lot of junk on me, so that could be it. Um, kind of suits her, I guess. 
So let's get going. I heard about your signal intercept. Cool. So Curie's got it. Actually, I haven't asked her to follow me, have I? We're actually going to do this. Oh, have I? Is she doing that now? How yet? But we're going to rescue my people. Okay, she. Cool. She's doing that now. I don't know what to go for. Okay, I'll carry on with that one. Mass fusion. I believe this is the quest that actually pisses off the Brotherhood to no end. Because yeah, you got a choice, you can either go and help the Brotherhood do this quest. Or you can, um... Yeah, or you can just do it with the Institute, which is what I'm going to do. Because I've never actually sided with the Brotherhood. Um, because in, in the third one, they, they, they come across as like, you know, saviors, but in this one they're quite, well, almost like fascists. So I've never really, uh, yeah, sided with them at all. Ruling will make you a permanent enemy of the Brotherhood of Steel. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Semper Invicta. Oh well. Okay, so I'm still on good terms with the Minutemen, the Institute, sort of, and the Railroad. Eventually I am going to have to take out the Brotherhood of Steel. What's that? Outside the wire. What's that one? 
Oh, I know the one, actually. Yeah, never mind. I know what that is. Well, at least that's cleared up some of the uh, <laughs> some of the lingering quests I had. Never actually did one of those quarter mastery missions. Why is the Brotherhood here? Oh shit! Okay, uh, this is not going my way. Definitely an enemy of the Brotherhood. Of course, the main problem here as well is that the Brotherhood still put, still do like patrols over a lot of my settlements, so that might be a big problem. Should have gone to the should have gone to the sanctuary, shouldn't I? Dumped some of the stuff I'm carrying. Uh Alright, I need to get rid of some of this. supposed to do? Calm down, Noel. You knew that this was coming. I don't understand why you're acting this way. Don't tell me to calm down, Carl. When we started designing the beryllium agitator, you said it would be for the benefit of mankind. Instead, I find out that you have been planning on turning it over to the military all along. You lied to me. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can get. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Since when did science start taking sides? What did they promise you, Carl? Money? Political favors? A goddamn medal? That's enough! Like it or not, when the testing cycle is completed, I'm crating up the agitator and sending it off to Washington. Now, you have two choices. Either you can get back to work, or you can get the hell out of my building. 
Carl. Dr. Fillmore. Let's hope the Brotherhood hasn't beaten us to the agitator. Yeah, I can't get in here though. Hacking this is beyond me. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Unless there's some other way to get in there. I can't get in the console. And I'm not actually sure why I need to get in the console. I just know I can't get in there. Hmm. Hey, there's the ship. Yeah, I have no idea what to do here. Don't know if there's a note somewhere to read or anything like that. Um, no, well, no, because it's um, it's a, it's covered by a perk, isn't it? Like this. Okay. I'm not making fast travel here, so I can always do some of one of the other quests, I guess, and level up a little bit. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Where is the where's the hacking perk? It comes under intelligence, doesn't it? Yeah, there it is. Can't break. Yeah, because if I go to inventory and then aid, uh Mentats. It just increases intelligence. It doesn't. Code. It won't help me Security with this. Tight. Yeah. So. <sighs> right. And as far as I know, there's no other way through this. I'm actually googling this just to see if there's a way around this. Well, so I... Ah, uh, because yeah, I can't seem to find anything, but I highly doubt that it's just limited to you need advanced hacking. Now though, it's just a case of trying to wait for my bloody pawn to load.
civilization is dying. Okay, and of course when I go to search this, <laughs> my phone, my internet connection on my phone dies. Uh, and because I mass relayed here, I can't get my, get my companion to come with me, for whatever reason. Yeah, it might be a, an issue. Like I can't do anything. Because it looks like I have to use that to get the power on. Uh, I suppose they're just pulling out dollar stops here, I guess. Just to uh, make sure I don't breeze too easily through the game. Ah, cool. Locks Didn't really know. Strong. Uh. So you have to level up the lock picking or the hacking. I'm not sure. Hacking probably would be a bit better. All right, let's see what the, the internet has to say because it's finally loaded up. Okay, and that there's nothing whatsoever to help me. Right, well, I will have to call this episode to an end because I need to look into this. I was not expecting... Well, <laughs> I was expecting this kind of... Wait, hang on. Ah, hello. Okay, never mind. Onward, onwards with the game. <laughs> well, that was good luck, wasn't it? I'm not going to read any of this. Yeah, but I still need to... Oh, I got... I got a card. Ah, oh, I must have gotten it from that desk.
Cool. Well, that was a lifesaver, wasn't it? Just coming across that desk. This is going pretty good. Pretty well, pretty good. This is going pretty well. Cool. So, I got there. Didn't think I would, but I got there. That place off uh, that elevator offers no cover whatsoever. Do I have to keep going down? Yes. But not before I go up. <laughs> yeah, okay. That makes perfect sense. Okay, what's up here? I wasn't 100% sure if it was going up or down. Don't know what I was expecting to do, you know, once it said what it was doing. Dive in there before the door shut, I thought, but, yeah. Who's there? I'm up here, fool! And another one bites the dust, and another one bites the dust. God, there's a lot of elevators in this.
Oh wow. That looks pretty cool. I'm going in, am I? Thanks. Okay. Just... I don't have anything on me, though. That's the thing. Hazmat-wise. I think I have the, haz the hazmat suit to Deacon. So, what I'm going to do is just take a bunch of Radex, I think. Do I have Radix? Yes, I do. Beryllium agitator. Cool. Oh wow, look at my health. That is... That is mental. Seems rather easy. Get away. Holy hell, look at that. Ah, uh, no. Okay.
Oh, oh no. She's gonna... No! No, no, no. Oh, I can't get away. I can't get away. Ah, uh, okay, I survived. Cool. And do the zoom again. Ah, oh, I die. Ah, oh, you've got to be shitting me. God damn. This is harder than I was expecting it to be. Then again, I guess it is mass fusion. I, I, I weren't they like one of the bigger companies along with um, Atomic Atomic Robotics somewhere? and Vault Tech. Okay, where does the sentry bot come from? of it self-destruct. Safe. Oh, that. Okay, that didn't do m that much damage actually. Shut down units. Shut down unit. And initiate self destruct. I think. Yeah, there you go. About to go kablooey! Robots don't go up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take some buff out, maybe.
Oh god, I shut that thing down. Ooh, wow. Alright. I get out of there. I'll help the by some time. Make sure you get back to the institute with the agitator. So is this the brotherhood that's up there now? Okay, that's a decent amount of ammo with you. It's kind of a shame I can't pick up any of these guns and just salvage them, but... Uh. Alright, let's go. I have made a permanent enemy of the Brotherhood, and I don't care. I just have to build more defences in my settlements, I think. God, the loading times. The loading times in this are all over the place. Cool. I can head to the institute now. Or speak with Ali Fillmore. In the institute, cool. So I'm guessing she just like mass relayed back there. Whereas I'm having to walk. <laughs> it's like, yeah, thanks. Uh-huh. Cool. <laughs> Whatever you say, buddy. All right. Um, 
I my character looks so haphazard, doesn't he? All right. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. Dr. Fillmore. I think that was enough excitement for well ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it without you. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. Safety first. 700 XP, you were. That's impressive. Well, I am going to call this a day, I think. It's been a weird episode. A little bit longer than I, than I f feared it might be. Which is good, because, yeah, I managed to get the quest done. As opposed to earlier, where I was just like, oh god. I'm gonna have to go away and try and level up again. Thank you all for watching, it means a lot. Hope you've all enjoyed the episode and my panicking. Uh, hope you enjoyed the commentary as well. Uh, if you could be so kind as to maybe leave a like. Leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button that should be appearing on the screen at some point here.